Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. And today we're looking at the best CPU to pair with the RTX 4060. The thing that we're talking about today is the RTX 4060 and why it's okay to go with a budget CPU. So without wasting any more time, let's make this short and sweet and let's just get straight to it. So the RTX 4060 is the GPU equivalent to something like an RTX 3060 Ti but barely making it to the RTX 3060 Ti territory in a lot of games. We're looking at 10 to 20% difference. So this is basically an RX 6600 XT or an RX 7600 same performance. So yeah, in my opinion, the best CPU to pair with this GPU if you're okay with some bottlenecking is the Ryzen 5 3600. The reason I'm wet with this CPU because it's a very good CPU right now. You can get it used for around $50, $60. You can get a brand new for $80. And this CPU never disappoints. It's gonna give you the same experience of a Ryzen 5 5600 or an i5 12400F once you start playing games games you know at 1080p ultra settings or 1440p or ray tracing in the LSSR. You're not gonna have a lot of bottlenecking here or there. You can see from some benchmarks that it doesn't bottleneck an RX 6600. Now the RX 6600 is actually slower than the RTX 4060 by 20% but that 20% isn't the bottlenecking margin there you know. So yeah this is a CPU to go for if you want to cheap out and you want to build a sub 500 to 600 dollars gaming PC but if you want something that will not bottleneck our GPU you have the Ryzen 5 5600 again I love this CPU when it goes on sale of course it's for around 120 to 125 dollars uh yeah you're not gonna be bottlenecked by this GPU I mean straight up this GPU is actually slower than the RTX 3060 Ti and the Ryzen 5 5600 can handle all the way up to something like an RX 6800 but I wouldn't go over that with this CPU so yeah, going with the Ryzen 5 5600, paying the extra $50 will actually give you a better performance in the FPS intensive games. When it comes to games that run at 1080p ultra settings that doesn't rely that much on the CPU power horse, you're not that far behind, you know, you're not getting any bottlenecking. And since you're actually gonna get the RTX 4060, it's okay to cheap out on the other parts since the RTX 4060 is kind of overpriced, you know, so you are already taking the beat, you know, in my opinion, if you get it actually. Yeah, but if it's me, I go with something like uh, an RTX 3070 used, or I go with the 3060 Ti used, or I go with the 6700 XT brand new since there is no difference whatsoever between this uh, GPU and um, brand new and used pricing. But yeah, that's all claiming if you decided to get an alternative to the RTX 4060. I'm not saying the RTX 4060 is a bad GPU. I'm saying that there are a lot of other things that would give you the same performance if not better for cheaper price. And these, you know, NVIDIA features, the exclusive features like the LSS3, better ray tracing, AV1 encoding. It's not that good. You know for a gpu for 300 dollars so yeah that's been it if you like the video press on the like button for the videos, that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace